everybody. Thanks for joining me. They say that rideshare driving is easy. I say BS. In this video, I'm going to share with you three stories that I hear a lot about that I say are total BS, and I'll tell you why. And at the end of the video, I'll share with you whether one of those stories that Uber and Lyft are evil is true or not. Hey, real quick before we start, I want to tell you about a new app called Get Upside that we've partnered with, uh, that we've been using to save up to 25 cents per gallon on gas. In fact, millions of people have earned millions of dollars from this free app. It's really easy. All you have to do is upload your gas receipt and then cash gets added to your account. The cash adds up over time and you can cash it out whenever you want. Sounds good, right? It gets even better. I'm going to give you a promo code that will get you an additional 15 cents per gallon sign-up bonus. Just download the GetUpside app from the App Store, then open the app and enter the promo code WQ8JR, and you'll get a 15 cent per gallon sign-up bonus. Or visit the rideshareguy.com forward slash GetUpside app. Okay, let's get into this video. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy, and I don't know how many articles I've written. Over a hundred articles, videos, podcast episodes, rideshare, industry news, and I come across a lot of stories. And some of them I read and I'm just like, that's BS. That's not true. So I thought I would share with you three that I think really are BS. So let's get right into it. Story number one. Driving for Uber and Lyft is easy. I say BS. It's not easy. It hasn't been easy for me. I've had to apply a lot of discipline, get up every morning. I'm starting to drive at five o'clock. I got to keep my car clean. I got to manage uh, the apps on my phone. I mean, I've learned how to do it. But to say it's easy, it's not easy. I think one reason a lot of people quit right? They say that over half the people who sign up quit within six months. It's because there's this false impression that it's just easy. Boy, you go talk to somebody who just did their first day of driving, they're not going to tell you it was easy. No. And if you talk to passengers, they'll tell you they've been in some cars where the driver was just flummoxed, was just out of their head, not good, didn't know what they were doing, didn't know how to you know, work the apps. So to say it's easy is misleading. It can be done, it can be done very well, and to do it well is not easy. To do a half-assed job, yeah, that's easy. But I'm talking about doing a great job as a driver, not easy. I say BS. Story number two, rideshare driving sucks. So there are a lot of surveys that say that being a rideshare driver is like the worst thing you could be doing right that you're a slave the way uber and lyft treat you is terrible that you got to drive all the time in your car it's hard work on your body right it's not good for your health you know and some of those things are true as with any other job right repetition by nature is not like a great thing you get you get bored but when you think about the fact that we get to be out in the world, right? All of this, you know, people sit in an office every single day, the same frickin' four walls looking at them. Our office is our windows, right? We're all over the place. We get to be out in the air. We can roll the window down. We can play our music. We can open the moonroof. We can talk to a variety of people. If you work a full day, you're going to talk to 20 or 30 people. You're going to learn things. It's very stimulating. Uh, so I just don't get it, you know, like any job, there's certain things that you have to manage. But the fact that we are out there on the road talking to people every single day, doing a good thing. I just say that story that rideshare driving sucks is BS. Story number three, Uber and Lyft are evil. I say BS. Why do I say that? So there are a lot of articles that say you know, Uber and Lyft are the devil, you know, that they're just grinding the drivers down, that they're terrible for the economy, that uh, just bad, 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 right? Uber had all the misogyny issues with their corporate culture, and, and boy, everyone seized on that. But you know what? You talk to passengers, 
99.9% of passengers will say this is a great service. Oh my God, I just went to San Diego. I used Uber eight times. Every time, great. I got picked up within like three minutes. I got my ride. I had a nice chat with the guy. And it was like eight to nine dollars a ride, you know, for a 10 minute ride. Totally worth it. Kept me out of the rain. I love Uber and Lyft. It's like so great to just have someone come and pick you up and take you to where you want to go. Passengers love it. And um, there's a lot of complaints that Uber and Lyft put so much uh, traffic congestion on, on the roads. Well, no, that's not true. In San Francisco, where there's the highest percentage of Uber cars in the city, the 7x7, this is the most in all of America, they account for 12%. In a city like Chicago, in a city like Seattle, right? It's like two, 1% to 2%. The majority of the cars are on the road are individuals driving their own personal cars to work in commercial vehicles. So that's just a false claim that people who haven't looked at the numbers make, right? So when you really look at it, they're just two companies that are trying to make money. They're trying to become profitable. They're trying to provide a service for their passengers that works and price it appropriately. They're not doing anything that any other company would do. They're doing exactly what companies in America do. They cut their costs as much as possible and they raise their rates as much as possible to, in search of the almighty dollar. This is capitalism. This is America. This is the, the place where people come to make it. And uh, Uber and Lyft are, are, are fighting to make it, right? They haven't turned a profit yet, but um, they're, they're working on it. So to say they're evil, no, I say BS to that. Um, they're just doing what every, every other company in America does. They're trying to make a profit. So what are the key takeaways here? When you read a story, ask yourself, is this true or is this BS? Because a lot of times the stories are BS. And um, I'm inviting you to, to ask yourself the question, you know, what's your experience tell you, really? Because I think a lot of people are just swayed by what they read, like it's the truth and it's not always the truth in fact many times it's not the truth and when we start thinking for ourselves we realize maybe i shouldn't be listening to so much news maybe i should be out living my life and developing my own opinions just a thought this is jay crater i want to say thank you for watching the video i really do appreciate you drivers coming around and watching these videos i hope you find them entertaining as well as educational if you have not subscribed yet to the youtube channel for the rideshare guy we put out great content every single week and uh, you'll be notified of it, so sign right up. Have a great day. Be safe out there.